Katie Jones, the owner of a small photography business. Sierra, Kale, Ethan, and I have evaluated Katie's business in order to create an educated SWOT analysis. Our SWOT analysis shows us that while Katie does have many strengths to work with, some of those strengths can also be seen as weaknesses. For example, while she has built a large and strong clientele, her business keeps her too busy to spend time with her family. Some opportunities that we think Katie should take advantage of is hiring an editor, utilizing the power of social media, and using an online photo gallery. The main threat to Katie is other photography businesses. Our first solution for Katie Jones is to set exact prices, which will limit the chances of friends and family talking her into lower prices. We have given Katie five main factors that she should consider when setting her prices. Her perceived value in the marketplace and the perceived value of her products, the quality of her work and finished products, how confident she is as a photographer, what her competitors are charging, and her cost of goods. When looking at these very basic factors, the fourth and fifth are the most important. Of course, it wouldn't be smart for Katie to copy her competitors' pricing, but we feel it's important to at least be aware of what her local market will bear. She doesn't want to be so far off the line that she is looked at as being unrealistic. The only real measurable way for Katie to establish her pricing is by using the fifth factor, which takes into account her cost of goods. It is important for Katie to, not, to know the concept of cost of goods. For example, the cost of goods for a digital photo takes into consideration the time it takes to take the photo and all the equipment used. Many photographers don't factor their time when establishing their pricing and their revenue might be shown in that. With all that being said, it is important for Katie to not only set these prices, but to take careful consideration before setting them. While these prices can obviously change as Katie gains more skills and experience, it is important for future clients to see set prices when they visit her website. Our next solution for Katie Jones is to build a positive brand. The brand of a company is not only its physical image, but it is also the identity and personality that it betrays in its products. On our presentation, you can see that we have created a logo along with many other personalized items for Katie Jones to use to create a positive brand for her business. The biggest change that you'll see is that we've given Katie's business a name, Katie Jones Photography. This is the website that we created for Katie Jones. As you can see, it introduces Katie, gives her portfolio, lists her prices, and has an area to book a session or contact Katie. It is very important for Katie to have a website as it will increase her credibility. A potential client looking for a photographer will view her competitors as far more professional than her if they have a website and she does not. Katie can use this website for everything, saving her money and building that personal connection with her clients. Creating a positive brand for a company can be, can be aided by becoming active on social media. We are confident that becoming involved in social media will be very powerful for Katie. First, it would be totally free. Second, with over 3.2 billion social media users in the world today, and that number increasing by 13% each year, the chances that people and families that live around Katie have social media are very high. She could also build her social media presence based on a strong business plan. While she already has an up and running business, it is never too late for Katie to create a business plan and understand her priorities, creating more effective social media posts. The Small Business Administration says that only half the number of small businesses stay open for over five years. And while there are many reasons why small businesses fail, most of the most common ones are intentionally addressed in a business plan. Sitting down and considering all the effects of any given decision is a luxury that Katie should take advantage of. There are many great professional organizations that Katie Jones could benefit from, but for the sake of money, we have chosen the best two that she should consider investing in. The first is the Professional Photographers of America organization, and the second is the American Marketing Association. The Professional Photographers of America organization is the world's largest nonprofit photography organization, and the American Marketing Association would give Katie the education that she needs to have her business excel in the marketing industry. The memberships that would suit Katie best for both of these organizations cost $300 a year, which is actually a great deal for all the benefits she would get in return. We also think that Katie should consider investing in her local chamber of commerce. It typically costs around $200 a year for a small business to join. But with that, Katie would receive a great connection to her community, tons of education savings, and access to important community issues that may affect her business. 
As members of our local chamber of commerce, we know all of the benefits and have added a few of them to our PowerPoint. One major way Kate can spend less time on her business while still gaining revenue is by hiring a professional editor. This is the best position for Katie to hire because it's the least personal part to the company. Katie might want to hire someone to take the photos, deliver the photos, or manage social media and scheduling because those are the most personal parts of photography. They are what allows Katie to build such strong connections with her clients. By hiring an editor, Katie would be able to focus more on shooting photos, saving a lot of time and having a much faster turnaround time. That time is even doubled or tripled when special tasks such as sky replacement, window masking, or object removal are required. But by hiring a professional photo editor, Katie can allot her time to other business or personal needs. While it can be concerning to hire an editor, Katie has to remember that editors are experts in using photo editing software. They know the tricks that make your photos truly look spectacular. They work all day with various photo editing tools such as Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom. With that knowledge, they can make your, they can definitely improve your photos in the best, quickest, and most efficient ways. With all these benefits that hiring an editor can offer, we are confident that this will bring in more revenue in the long run. Another change that we suggest is for Katie to focus on a chosen market in order to compete and overcome bigger companies in the industry. A perfect example can be found in Red Bull. The co-founder of Red Bull started his little canned drink with no specific market in mind, which caused sales to be very low. Consumers couldn't decide if Red Bull was a sports stimulant or a soft drink. So we went back to the drawing board and laser targeted a market segment of students and marketed to them relentlessly by sponsoring events and throwing campaigns. With their attention and advertising in one place, Red Bull was able to build a brand and skyrocket their revenue. And while Katie's company is nothing like Red Bull, the same ideas apply. She already takes pictures for weddings, birthday parties, family pictures, and other significant events. We suggest that she add senior portraits to this list and really starts to target these people through her advertising and social media posts. By doing this, when any family needs pictures done, they know who to go to. The couples that first come to Katie for engagement photos will continue to come back for their wedding, maternity, baby, and senior pictures. Our final change that we suggest Katie considers is to no longer offer photo prints and to not add any additional products. First, it takes up a lot of time that Katie could use by either spending time with her family or taking more photos. Second, with all the resources in today's society offered by CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and Charterfly, the chances that people actually buy these photos or additional products from Katie are very low. Katie could deliver all of her photos digitally through the website that we showed earlier, allowing clients to download and print them at their convenience. Overall, delivering client files to an online photo gallery will give Katie maximum flexibility and professionalism. Online galleries will build excitement in her clients and present her images at their best. Her clients will be excited to open the link the moment they receive it. When they open the link, they'll be welcomed with a gallery cover of a big beautiful image from their session, the name, the date, and even a welcome message. Katie won't miss out on that personal connection by using online galleries as they will provide professional branding and marketing for her business. Her online gallery can be customized with her business name, logo, and contact information. She can also link it to other sites like her Facebook and Instagram page. Online galleries look put together and professional. Clients share, clients share galleries with friends and family. They show images to coworkers often directly from their phone. Using an online gallery will present Katie a chance to market her brand to those potential clients as well. In conclusion, our main goal for Katie Jones Photography is for her to maximize her revenue while still being able to spend time with her family. And we know that all of our solutions will do this. And while some of our solutions are an investment, we are even more confident that these investments will provide income in the future. Thank you, and at this time, we will take any questions that you may have.